to another video it's going to be a quick one um, it's literally just switching over the stereo unit to the touch screen um, yeah that is pretty much it it's pretty much straightforward it comes with obviously the manual use manual it's a seven inch touch screen it's universal so the steering wheel control should work and it's literally just a straight swap you have your GPS um, antenna because it's got built in sat nav and such um, all these other cables in here are basically if you want subwoofers and stuff so I'm going to plug them in anyway and just leave them in the back um, you've also got a few conversion kits etc if you need it uh, for your old system because this is the old Vauxhall and you've got the new one or if you need an extension need it's all in there um, so yeah it's pretty much straightforward it's going to be the simplest video that I've ever done I believe um, I've got a rear view camera with it that just comes with it but I don't think I'm going to use that maybe i'm not sure but it does plug straight in the back um and as soon as you put it in reverse it comes up on your screen so i may use that eventually but um, i'm undecided yet so what you'll need first is your um radio keys <coughs> pinhole keys i spoke about these in another video you remove your radio you literally just slot them in the two holes uh just there i can't really reach from here uh there, yeah, that's one in. Then you do the other end, and then you literally pull them apart, and it all slides out. Um, so I'll join you in a minute once I've uh, took that out. Okay, so behind here you've got these two cable, well three cables. Yeah, they unplug from here, here, and here. Each one's got um, a little latch on. So on these, you just push this centre bit in here, and it pulls out. This one here, you've got this like um, a lever. You just pull that out, and it all unplugs. It's as simple as that. Once you've pulled the um, radio out with your keys. And if you look on the back of here, it's pretty similar. So uh, I'll join you in a minute once I've connected a few wires and made sure everything goes where it should. Um, and I'll see you again soon. Okay, so uh, I've just had a little play around with it to make sure everything's uh, fine. Um, but yeah, it looks like there's a lot of wires back here, but they're not. I've only just plugged them in uh, because then I know where they are. Um, you've got your... Um, in and outs for your subwoofers and such every single little cable actually has a tag on it saying what it is which is really helpful um, you've got this part here which I've just plugged in again this is for your dash cam uh, for, the, for your reverse um, again I won't be using that yet so I'm just plugging it in so I don't lose any wires or anything like that um, the main wires that you need to plug in from your stereo system is this main power supply just here which again it just pushes straight in um, you will need this cable it's got like a uh, little pin on the end and then it's got that um, that goes straight in this slot just here you just push it in that's for your radio um, you also want to connect the green wire up to this it literally just pushes straight on like so um, and then you've got your GPS a box which is just here um, that literally screws onto this right here um, like so don't over tighten it just make sure it sits nicely um, and now we are going to give it a try so put the electrics on um, have a look at the screen oh and it's on um, I can't really have the sound on because of um, copyright <laughs> so let's just um, put that like that uh, home button you've got your GPS find your location find address find coordinates that sort of stuff uh, back to your radio uh, you've got your Bluetooth radio TV I've not actually clicked on this yet but this is what comes from your um, you can get a DTS is it DTS? I think it's DTS uh, pipe uh, pipe cable that plugs into the back and you can actually watch TV from it so that's handy um, switch it back to the radio so we don't have static uh, you got all your settings in here you got your general stuff your beeps it does do this annoying beep uh, after every time you press it if I leave that on there uh, that's turned off because I can't stand that auto enter GPS that's all good uh, time set all your time up and all that stuff uh, I've not really done that yet I don't think Oh, it's, uh, yeah it needs sorting um, so yeah uh, there's basically all that you can change your wallpaper on the background um, there's, there's a lot quite a few things the navigation is quite simple if you press your navigation button on that side 
again finds coordinates um, find address let's just go say uh, let's just say Nottingham shall we uh, so it comes up with what it thinks it is so Nottinghamshire city centre set as destination and it's shown us where we're going navigation off we go uh, so yeah it's pretty much that simple um, easy to install you literally just have to push it back in if you can make sure your um, GPS antenna goes somewhere outside the car I think I'm going to reroute mine back up through here and sit it on the top at the bar end just so I've got a good signal uh, but I am going to try just leaving it inside here see what that does see if I get a good signal or not um, so yeah okay so uh, this is a finishing video I forgot to actually show you what it looks like all in it's all in it's all fits uh, fits all nicely flush etc um, it looks good You've got your radio Obviously, I can't understand all the copyright issues, but you can change all your colours and such as well. So, night time, you can set night time mode, send it to sleep, turn it back on, you press press it, put it into mute. So, it's a nice piece of kit, it looks alright. So, uh, thank you for watching, and uh, see you in the next one.